Hello, my name is Mabu Lazo, and I'm nine years old. We're here in New York City on Wall Street, better known as the Financial District. Wall Street is the home of the New York Stock Exchange, which is the largest stock exchange in the world. Everything is electronically traded here, from gold to toilet tissue. But did you know they used to auction off slaves here? Whenever you hear about slavery in America, people often think of the South, that the northern colonies such as New York were places of refuge. But they also participated in the transatlantic slave trade. In fact, slavery became the backbone of New York's economic prosperity in the 1700s. New York City is surrounded by the Hudson River, which leads to the Atlantic Ocean. Therefore, during the 17th and 18th century, many slave ships coming directly from Africa and the Caribbean used to dock at these ports. New York capitalized off its location in the slave trade and established itself as the world's financial capital, a title that continues to hold true to this day. In fact, before the American Revolution, New York had the second largest population of slaves outside of Charleston, South Carolina. In 1991, during renovations of New York City Hall, the remains of 427 Africans were found here. This lost grave site, just two blocks away from City Hall, has now been memorialized with what is now called the African Burial Ground National Monument. I caught up with Mr. Sean Gazala. He's the park ranger. How many Africans do you think were buried here? Uh, as many as 15,000 would have been buried in this area, but 419 were discovered uh, under the footprint of this building. For how long did the average African live during that, those times? That's a good question. Uh, these Africans were, were worked uh, since, from the time that they could walk, so you know they were under a lot of intense um, work and they didn't live very long. Um, the oldest remain that we discovered here was actually only 56 years old. I like the tour. Thank you for showing me around. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Here's some brochures. Pass them on to some friends and please come back again. Thank you. Uh, Bye. New York's participation in slavery is seldom mentioned because we identify the Big Apple with liberty. However, before the American Revolution, one out of every five New Yorkers was enslaved. New York officially abolished slavery in 1827. I'm Mabu Wazo, and that's a Black History Moment.